to another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will be about fiscal policy and the budget. The government sets out its fiscal policy, that is its plans for spending and taxation, through its budget. The government has four key objectives it hopes to achieve through its fiscal policy. Economic growth, which is a sustained increase in output over time, low unemployment, price stability, meaning low levels of inflation, and a better balance of payments, meaning more exports and less imports. When the government's planned spending is exactly equal to the income they expect to receive, we have what's called a balanced budget. If planned government spending is lower than the income that we're expecting to receive, then we have what's known as a surplus budget. This might happen because the government spends less money or because they increase taxes. If they spend less, it means a reduction in demand for the firms that they used to spend their money with. This means less money for firms and they need less workers to produce a lower amount of output. If on the other hand they increase taxes, consumers have less money to spend, reducing demand. This means a surplus budget can reduce pressure on prices by reducing the risks of demand pull inflation. It also helps to keep costs like wages low, as lower demand means lower equilibrium wages. These reduced costs can help UK firms become more competitive internationally, increasing our exports and improving our balance of payments. So you can see that a surplus budget is good for working towards two of the government's goals, that is, a better balance of payments and low inflation. If planned government spending exceeds expected government income, then what we have is a deficit budget. This might happen because the government spends more or because they reduce taxes. If the government spends more, it means an increase in demand for firms which provide the goods and services which they need to buy. This can have what's known as a multiplier effect, which we'll explore in later videos. If they reduce taxes, consumers have more money to spend, increasing demand in the economy. This means a deficit budget promotes growth by stimulating demand, and this additional demand means firms need more workers and helps to create more jobs. This means a deficit budget works towards the government's other two objectives of economic growth and low unemployment. The UK has generally run a deficit budget. In fact, the last year with a surplus budget was the year 2000. Each year that we have a deficit budget, it increases the government debt and means higher interest payments on that debt in the future. This graph here actually shows UK government budget as a percentage of GDP. We'll be talking more about why that's relevant in one of the next couple of videos. That brings us to the end of this look at fiscal policy and the budget. Join me again in the next video when I'll look in more detail at the effects of changes to taxes and government spending on the economy. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.